Okay, so it's a day or two later since the last time I recorded anything and we're here in my garage and we're going to continue burning in the tailgate uh, repair. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, welder set up and then we'll uh, start doing some welding. Okay, so there it is. I've welded it up. I stitched it, moved around a lot. See that? And I've got this side done. I think down here on the bottom, I'm just going to tack it and then fill it with some seam sealer and not spend a lot of time welding on that it's you're not going to see it and putting a lot of heat into it that we really don't need to but now I'm going to flip it over and uh, do the other side all right so it's burned in on both sides and now I don't have the right grinding disc I'm going to try a technique I learned on the internet about uh, grinding it on the edge so I only have flat discs so I'm gonna go get a regular grinding disc and uh, hit it with a flat disc but it's all burned in now and we'll grind it up and I think I'll spend some time and put some finish filler on this and sand it and see how good it's gonna look but you guys all seen what it looked like before and see what it looks like now so I'll uh, bring you back in when we're getting ready to put some uh, filler on it Okay, so here it is, uh, grinded with a heavy disc and then hit with a flat wheel, and that looks pretty good on this side. So now I'm going to flip it over and uh, hit the other side, but it's looking really good. I'm liking it. Can have a little filler in there, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, it's not a show truck. I'm going to drive it. I'm going to use it and enjoy it. So, you know, a little filler, 
make it smooth as you can uh, it's gonna be great so I'm gonna flip it over and start on the other side and I'll show you a little bit of that when I get it flipped over okay let me show you what I'm using this is just a regular grinding wheel you know it's aggressive very aggressive and then this is a what grit is this is a 36 grit uh, flap disc and so I use this to knock down the big aggressive welds and to get it kind of smooth and then I come in and I do the fine sanding with this and then once I'm done grinding with this uh, the surface should be ready for filler and so this one here knock it down get it cleaned up smooth it out then we filler it so we're gonna go ahead and start working on the other side this is the as you can see this is the side that everybody's gonna see so I want to be very careful take my time make sure that I get it uh, nice and flat because this is the side that uh, everybody's gonna see
there's something else that grinding and welding grinding does is uh, it lets you see uh, where you missed welding. Now I'm gonna have to go back and touch that little spot up because I didn't weld that. So it's a it's a kind of a, a process where you you know you get it all ground down and then you're gonna have to go back in and, and touch up those little areas again. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this finished ground out and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so there it is. It's all ground down and hit with the grinding disc and then the flap wheel. And let me see if I can stand it up. But look at that. Oh, look at the dust. I'll have to blow that off, but that uh, that's going to finish out nice. Take and put a little bit of filler just across that seam and finish to that edge and feather it out. That's going to turn out really nice. I am really, really excited about how this turned out. I mean, you'll see the video prior to this of how bad it was as I'm fixing it. And to see it now is just a night and day difference so there it is uh, next time if it wasn't so cold we're here in Utah and it's about uh, 20 degrees outside and so I just can't get my garage right now warm enough to spread any filler on it but once it warms up we'll uh, we'll put some filler on it and finish it out and prime it and it'll look great so what a journey what a what a cool thing this has been one of those things that you know it started to rest a little bit and you know 40 years later it's uh, <laughs> you know it was gone so anyway there it is but uh, got a couple places to touch up like I talked about before uh, there's a spot right there that I missed that it needs to be welded another spot there that we talked about but you know it's all part of the process when you're putting panels in and you're tacking it and you know once you get it ground down you can see you know where you where you missed because you know a lap uh, a weld can overlap another weld and when you grind it down then you can see it but uh, yeah really excited about the progress on the tailgate and even on the rest of the truck it's uh, it's coming along so till next time okay we're gonna uh, get it all welded up and ground down and uh, looks like I got one little spot to grind still but I'm gonna mix up some filler and uh, fill this joint and put a coat of mud on it so I can get it in primer, I've got to take this and put it outside in my shed. So I'm going to put a little bit of filler on it and get it in the primer so I can stick it out there and then uh, start working on the, the bed part of the, the rest of the bed. So let me uh, run that little spot.
this is kind of light, but it gives you a lot more work time if you uh, if you don't mix the bottom marker in it.
so there it is with the first skim coat a body filler you know you're just trying to fill it in so you can hit it with some 80 grit you know the secret here is to <clears throat> you know not build it up too high but you don't have to be crazy about it either get it on there as smooth as you can uh, as you build up layers it'll get uh, you know it'll get smoother obviously but you know you just want to get that first coat on there let it set hit it with some 36 grit or what or 80 grit I'll probably 80 grit this and uh, just work our way into getting it into primer so it's really turning out really well uh, like I said before I want to try to restore as many of the original parts off this truck as I can and also I want to uh, fabricate the ones I can I'm going to see if I can't fabricate them myself so that's kind of what's going on it's going to be a long project but you know it'll be fun to bring it back and uh, a lot of work and when you, you know when you're working by yourself everything takes a little longer too and then it's winter time and it's cold and so that slows things down a little bit as well but we'll get there we'll get it all you know step by step piece at a time so next time we're here we'll be sanding on the uh, on the filler there and getting it ready for a second coat